pour la fête? Sweeter than candy! Mr. Jones in the house, yo! Come on! Get it on! Pour la fête yeah, boys. Sweeter than candy Mr. Jones in the house, yo Come on Get it on Sick, go to the ACDA Number one, baby Go, go, go Bonne 
chance, tu vas en avoir besoin. Hello? Dude, this title screen music is like oddly suggestive. I can't be the only one that's thinking that. The music, quote, music. Testing, one, four, hello. Okay, hold on, one second. Hi everybody. How are we doing? Ooh, I'm about to sneeze right away. Okay, it's gone. We're good. It'll be back. Hi, Metal Nick. Hey, thank you for the 17 months. How's it going, man? Thank you so much for the support and being here and being you and just being awesome and hanging out with us. I appreciate you very much, dude. Uh, to everyone else, thank you for being here early. I am doing a bunch of uh, changes to the stream. Audio mix is different than recording and same with video settings. And so just like there's like a ton of moving parts going on right now we updated our uh what is it oh my god what is it called pcsx2 we updated all that so anyway i'm expecting a lot of dumpster fires as we've already saw by the screen chugging earlier but um <laughs> okay lead okay I'll, I'll look at that yeah so it must be good totally uh okay so just give me a second and i'm gonna um I want to adjust some settings. Hopefully we don't get some weird kind of like drawing issues like that we had last time uh, when we were playing Dave Mira. And whenever I access this menu, it's the, like, <laughs> we're doing great. Everything's fine. Just ignore it. Okay, you know what? We actually might have to stop it. Okay one step ahead of the game yeah boy um okay nearest got it boot first try is okay nice oh we added uh what was it three more emotes and by emotes i mean words in picture format hey wilson is singing a song for us Wilson, come here. Yeah? Is something we want to say? Do we want to see the cat real quick? Okay. Hey, what do you want? His claws are digging into my leg. Pause champ. Hold on. Just give it a second. This is booting up right now too. So we'll just cat while this is going. Cool. Good talk. He has this thing like there's a um there's a subreddit on reddit called cats who yell and i swear if i uploaded a video of wilson wilson omega wilson we would get a lot of internet points because he just runs through the house at least once through the day just shouting professing his love for everybody can the cat do a 900 We could yeet him. He might need assistance for spinning, but we could provide that. 
Okay, so let's get into it, shall we? I think we're good. It looks like it, it's running. Listen to this music. Isn't it just a little off-putting? Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. Today, we're going to play SSX. I haven't played it since I bought it in 2000 or 2001. I remember buying this to hold me over in between Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. I had a PS2 finally. Yeah, Smarties. Hey, thanks for the six months. Appreciate the support and welcome. How's it going? But yeah, I played quite a bit. I'd say at least like 50, maybe 100 hours or something. Just one player clearing through the circuits and all that stuff. So I don't know. Tw literally, it's been 20 years. So I don't anticipate remembering anything or being semi decent. But let's dive in and find out, shall we? seems kind of dark right like the it's like a little the colors are a little huh yeah i guess that's just how it how it be hey ross thanks for the follow you too hoss wow are the bots out tonight okay here we go we're gonna pick mac because that's the only guy i remember this is the first ssx um i remember he had a hot dog board but i don't remember oh that's it it's the default one okay i thought we might have had to unlock it but here we are i remember the sound effects in here making it sound like next gen like wow the echo and reverb here let's do warm up it's probably a good idea i haven't played tricky yet looking a little eric sparrow -y. This is so, it's too much. Yo, what's up? You know what I mean? Let's, get going. let's uh, I'm gonna turn down every, so we can hear the alerts. Or right, let's just do this, yeah. So we can turn this back up. Yeah, okay, here we go. I like the tune. Once you bust some left and right. Oh no, the rendering on the left and right. I was hoping we'd be able to fix that, but oh well. What's up, Showbread? Yeah, we have not done a surfing or wake wakeboarding game yet. Oh wow, we landed it. It's really responsive and snappy. It feels good has like that kind of sway you feel with snowboarding too. Yeah, this is what super poggers. Some of the hard rails, you can't just ride them. You got to jump up onto them. Ah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Once you're on the rail, use your spin control to change your stance. Ah. Timing nice. is everything. Remember to release that jump button before you get to the top of the jump. Okay. A little bit of latency, I think. Thanks, Elite Beat. Nice. Oh, man. Okay, it's not as quick as I remember it. Swiss cheese to late stale. M I didn't even get to read it. It's masky. Stale masky. Can you do? Can you do a seven twenty? Let's see. Hog, do you one better? Oh, <laughs> I think yeah. There's a little bit of latency, so it's. I gotta do a little bit earlier than normal. I like that you can keep. I forgot, like. It's kind of like Skater XL, where it's like. It's not auto catch, but it is auto catch. So you just let go. To determine when the next flip. When you're right side up, it'll stop. So I can hold down and then let go. So the next time he's right side up, he'll stop trying to flip. Woo! 
this is cool though like the music is is really rad the sounds hold up like the controls are tight at least up at this point this whole pre-wind mechanic i remember this we were making epic skater one and two the pre-wind from this game like we wanted to be able to queue up as many spins as possible while you're on the ground so it wouldn't interfere with what interfere with what you did in the air and it worked out in epic skater so not to say we just completely copied ssx because we would never do such a thing we were inspired Oh yeah, and then squares boost, right? Yeah. Crippled squirrel, of course. Oh yeah, the one footer, all shoulder buttons held down. Nice. Um, hey man, how do you build a bigger base score on Thips? Can only seem to get 40, 50k. Uh, look at my video on which are the best special tricks to equip. And then do them. Do the tricks. Extreme Viper 99. What's up, Doogie? MG, how's it going? Noah? Mo? Wait, Mo. Were you the guy that told me... Hold on. That was you. Mo... Mo Southerd says... Um, can someone tell Andy THPS not to speed run through Tony Hawk games, please? You left me that comment twice on Instagram on the same video, but I'll, I'll make sure to tell him. Hey, selling full wheat. What's up? Thanks for the hundred. Appreciate you. What's up, Magma? This is cool. No, I mean, I didn't anticipate the to. I didn't not anticipate this to uh, hold up this well. But we'll see how long that lasts. I guess right. We've said that quite a few times. Like Dave Mira is one example. What's up, Sweat? <laughs> Oh, my name is Player One. I didn't realize we could change our name. SSX still fun. Nice. Oh, right. It's all races. Is there a sharp turn button? Oh, I guess it's like just use the analog forehead. Whoops. Razel is your favorite disembodied voice. Is that the whose voice is Razel? What's that thing? With an indie. I need chat to just do that for me at all times. A 900 with a stale fish. Wow. Just color me up. Color commentary all the time. All positive. Right, guys? All positive. I thought I was going to hit that rail. Okay. Oh, what? I guess I didn't let go soon enough. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Yep. Off to a good start. Let's go. Fifth place. No problem. Oh, right. And if you go through the billboards made out of glass or basically anything made out of glass, it's like a shortcut, right? But you gotta be, you gotta be a sniper. Sniper. Did not Listen snipe. Is this how we play snowboarding? Am I doing it right? Tricks equal boost. Boost equal speed. 
Oh, I totally thought I was going to be able to go under that. <laughs> Four clip with a stale fish. We need Brian. We need this guy as our TTS guy, like full time. Oh, oh we're, all, we're in second. I didn't even realize how close we were. I wish I had more boost now. Oh, second. Dang. Let's go. Play American Wasteland on sick and do all gapes. By the way, don't speed run at all and take your time and enjoy it. <sighs> well, if you think about it, I pretty much try and get through every game as quick as possible. So I'm actually doing a life speed run right now. I can't live any faster or slower. Look at the crowd. Oh my God. Wait, are we doing this again? Did I just hit retry or is it we have to do it again? This might be a different race. I don't know. It's, spoiler, the next race is going to be a mountain with snow. This is the semifinal. <laughs> and percentage left. Oh, what? I didn't let go of jump. This beat sounds like, what is it? This is the beat from Mama Number Five. That's what it is. Right? A little bit of Monica in my life, and in it, in it, all I need. Oh. You guys remember that? <laughs> Spoiler. What's up, young gun? Oh. Oh, get there. Oh, you eat. Oh, my God, Mac. We're doing great. Get out the knitting needles. Oh, you can press select to restart like a uh, San Francisco rush status. That's cool. Um, the past 10 minutes you have missed snowboarder going down snowboard mountain and uh, a mambo number five reference that 99 percent of people here did not understand feels old man oh let's go super speed no jumps only speed Hey, should I jump here? If only they had a sign here that said jump here, I'd have more of an idea what to do. It's so funny because I'll give games so... Oh no, I just got first place the last five seconds. I'll give games so much trouble. Like I'll hate on them just being like, God, I, w I don't know what to do. Please tell me what to do game. And then they tell me what to do. And I'm like, oh God, really? You think I'm that stupid? Oh, whoops. You know, let's actually let's do proper um, casage. 
How do we go lowercase? Oh, we can't. I guess. All right, we'll just be capital and. Continue. I've qualified for final round. We have to keep going. Yeah, this is PS2 SSX. It still looks good. I mean, you know, it's dated obviously, but like there's a style to it. It's not trying to do too much. Everything's very readable in the levels. Like you, you know, like where the track's supposed to be. It's pretty linear, I guess to a positive we're in like sean palmer it's like i guess you're not racing it's like more of a park vibe it's a little bit hard to navigate even though it's supposed to be free skatey i don't know i guess it's a delicate balance right it's like you want people to be able to roam around and be free and like trick and just go about their business and do what they want but with snowboarding you're always going downhill so there's only so much of that you could do i would almost rather it be a little bit more linear with like different lanes or different ways but in to to incorporate all areas but i don't know maybe it's better to have hidden areas and stuff like that maybe what they're missing in sean palmer games is like the sessionable spots like bowls and half pipes or like places where you can like actually hang out and go back and forth and like cruise around but then i guess that's what differentiates it from a skateboarding game is that why skateboarding games just kind of do better or is it just because skateboarding games are better historically like the, the the development teams have crushed it you guys see what i'm saying i guess what i'm trying to say is that like if you're designing a snowboard game you kind of want to be able to go back and forth but if you're able to go back and forth you're just making a skateboard game at that point right the only difference is like the art the theming like it's snow versus concrete i don't know Pass that cereal. Pass that large sandwich. Oh, this is so slow. Oh my god. I forgot. See, like if you want to do like a like a quick little trick, the only thing you really can do is a grab, I guess. It's like I guess what I'm trying to say is snowboarding games it's, it's all downhill jam or malls they're all linear levels but at least in mall you can like hang out and go back and forth in a lot of areas and whatever fundamentally so many games are flawed yeah that's kind of what I'm leaning at. like that's that's what I'm you know you're picking up what I'm putting down I'm getting mopped this round. Do I go slower when my right foot is forward? Can I just skip this? And just go much faster than everyone else? No. Okay. Noted. Isn't every snowboarding game just top skater? Yeah, pretty much. Wait, so I got my best time, but I got fifth as opposed to second the last two times. Please try again. Do I need to do three runs all over again? This is very confusing. It did not lay out clearly where I needed to jump at the last jump. Wow. So I have to do that all over again. So race in the field up to six riders to the finish line. This is the only level I have unlocked. I can't go left or right. So yeah, it doesn't say best of three. It doesn't say your best two runs count. It doesn't say you must be third or above all three runs. Dude, this menu music. So it doesn't clearly lay out place in the top three to proceed to the semifinals. 
so we're in the quarter file i get it now i guess it does say it's just not very clear you only need to place top three for the first two rounds the final one's one that counts see that that would have been helpful information to know at the beginning i never realized this was Razel. okay this is why we use d-pad see i was trying to spin there and look, I just used D-pad and the same thing happened. How is it? How is he flipping when I'm holding to the left? Oh my God. You have to let go so soon. Okay, here we go. We got to put on our racing caps. Dude, so soon. Excuse me, sir. Oh my God. Dude, I'm trying to hold just left and it's like, let's flip just a little bit. So you land on your head. <laughs> Those knock me over. Those look like nothing. This is going well. Oh, you, you know, I'm going with the hot dog board, man. I should have taken that rail. What I do appreciate about this race, at least so far with this game, I don't know if they do it later. Oh my God. Um, is they don't make you go all the way to the bottom and then like teleport to the top and do like whap two. It's like, dude, just make me go through once and that's enough. Wow. That was very loud. Okay. Oh, that was a shortcut right there. I just realized on the left. Should I be using these as quarter pipes to do tricks and get more boost? I don't know what the better trade off is. Just go through or do tricks. Oh, a little late. Okay. Reminds you of the killer instinct guy. The combo after literally every combo. The hot dog though. Look at us getting first place. Easy. There's no option to design a dude in this game, unfortunately. Dope game and dope gamer. Hey, no, you. No, you hang up. What's up, Zach? Yeah, Sundo. Thanks, dude. Oh, you're, you're just like getting thrashed. Practice round. That's all good. Hey, we got first place in our practice round. Oh, yeah. oh you can tweak tricks, uh, tricks with square. Tweak tricks with square. Square. Got it. Oh, look, we can start off with some boost this time. Oh, that shortcut was totally worth it. Let's see if we can hit this one. Oh, <laughs> it changed our trajectory. Okay, this is going great. All right, come on, Mac. You and the hot dog. Let's do this. That's all we need. Just one hot dog. Oh, please. <laughs> Dude, tune. Oh, why is it making me flip just a little bit? Ooh, give me this. Give me this. I want this. Let's go. Give me some good. Sick. It did it again. I just want to spin. Stop flipping a little bit, Mac. Give me that hot dog. You're not worthy. God dang it. 
Here we go. Spin. 360. Oh, cool. You can change your little, like, landing angle. Midair. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. This is good. This is really good. This is... So these guys don't know, but this is actually a shortcut. Okay. Forgot you could change. You could just abort. <laughs> Hey, we did a shortcut, sort of how they intended it. Let's go. This one seems like not a shortcut. This is awful. Get me out of here. No. Oh, come on. Just man up. <gasps> this is intense. Oh, no. There's... Oh, I hit select too early. <laughs> I just went right through the fence. Dang it. That would have been the biggest brain of plays. Come on. 180, let's go. Up, oh, okay. Well, this is not. Okay, really? You're going to start me off and then bail? Dude. I hate it. You know what? I don't need your pro tip right now. Razel. Let's go. The thick boost. Sixty nine hundred. Did that just happen? Qualified for the finals, finals, finals. Yeah, the music. Yeah, this does kind of have like jet radio, uh, jet grain radio vibes. <laughs> Look at this. There's lots of like hooting and hollering pre-raise all right just spin please i called it out i was holding look roll back the tape i'm only holding left only holding right Oh my god, the, the frame rate like makes all the music and everything slow down too. Oh. 50-50 rail. Dude, rail to rail me. Come on. just want to do a 180 sometimes you know get a little bit more boost this is the finals no more messing around oh no i don't know if i want to do this again whatever we're doing it I feel like we're way too far behind to not. Sick 180. Let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, he got the booster. Catch up to him. Pause champ. Oh, we're at the last thing. Oh, no. Combo. 
get out of here this is my second place no at least we got third i think that's good enough right Whew. oh you can punch the other dudes oh god and you have a new record in addition to the other information that came before this sentence let's go you get boost if you punch him i didn't know that i've never been a fan of playing late racing games either like i still am not i have like a firm like anti-race game like especially mario kart because the amount of random and racing involved what am i doing oh i have points to use this is scary I'm so confused. How do I select? Oh, race. You have to select race first. Got it. Um, I was going to say something I completely forgot. Oh, yeah. Race games. I just can't get into it. Like I played GTA 5. Like I almost 100 percented all of it, but I didn't do any of the race games. I just don't like it. I hate racing because especially if they're long if they're like over 10 minutes or over a minute even like you get to the end you do everything perfect and then you mess up the last turn start over can't can't win you lose and it's just like i'm not about it the gameplay is not fun for me if you have to do everything exactly perfect just to like beat the track it's kind of why i don't like going for scores it's the same thing if you just mess up once just start over that's it speed runs in Pips one and two is a lot more fun because the speed runs are like less than a minute. Most of them, you know what I mean? Yeah, I won't like this one. Bro, do you even Mario Kart in real life? Do you even go kart in real life? Everyone playing Mario 64 out there. How many red coins do you have in your pocket right now? How many golden stars? Yeah, I agree with Tekken. The best racing games are the arcade ones like uh, burnout the whole burnout series is great even then um even then it can still get frustrating but there's still like um you know that you can like redeem yourself it's not too harsh until the very end of the game there's like all sorts of other factors involved that can where you can redeem yourself and catch up catch up and whatnot oh i remember these carves Ooh, the tweet grabs are where it's at huh oh my god i do really like how you can angle yourself in the air with analog so if you happen to become airborne you can oh <laughs> okay oh look there's the push button i forgot about that Trying to predict. Huh. Okay. We're good. It's fine. <laughs> oh, what? I was about to take that jump and she just pushed me over, dude. Oh, my. Unforgivable. What's up, Andy? Can't go over this. I'll go into it. Okay, sounds good. Perfect. Good compromise. All right. Can I just go over here a little bit. Feels like that was slightly beneficial up until that moment right there. Oh. Oh, let's go. Fifty fifty fail.
Oh my god, it looks like it's gonna be such a harsh landing on flat there. Oh my god, the back the back hey, get out of here, dude. I'm trying to hit you. You can't hit me. That's illegal. Oh my what is going on? Go dude, go! Oh my, I have to do this. I'm in fourth. What is? Did I just take a long cut? You and me, buddy. Oh, we in second now? Yeah, we just had some boost right now. Wow, that drop feels a lot like the drop that we just went on earlier is this gonna be forever okay starting to see something different what's up with the thing on the left is it broken oh there we go nice the way the music stopped right at that moment what you can't just knock those over oh um, dude i thought this was the world destruction tour get bam on the phone Uh huh. Oh, you got to go over these. I think they slow you down. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was right about the slowing you down part. Okay. Second place, by the way. Okay, that is actually evidence of someone being in first place now. Got it. Place. Whoever's in first. Oh, do we? Is that them? Yeah, we could sort of see him. At least their tracer. Their pal trail. Oh, this looks healthy. I should not have done this. I think I should have just gone downhill. Yeah. We on X Games, bro. Oh, dang, I missed it. Like when you crouch to jump and like pre-wind up your trick, you can't steer. So like if the terrain like changes like at all, like it kind of mess with you. Six minutes long, my goodness. Whew. That was stressful. Yeah. All right, two more times. And if we don't win the third time, we got to do it all over again. First place AI will always take some shortcuts. Okay. Take a helicopter. <laughs> I ran into it and it just ruined the trick I had charged. That's showbiz, baby. And oh, we are not landing this. So if you crash right at the end of this 20 minutes, yep. It feels racing game, man. back here <laughs> oh he must have hit those rocks look at his his character icon on the left 
<laughs> he definitely ran into those things. Oh, so worth it. Oh, that was a highlight. That was an epic gamer moment. Hey. They just have like auto hit on. Like when you run into them, they're just like, yeah, you out. <laughs> okay, that time I hit somebody. It's, at least I think I did. Oh my God, that guy comes careening out of the right field. It's not very responsive. The hit thing takes a second. Donkey dope maneuver? Huh. How did I not land that? Oh, no kidding. All right, we're going to do a 50 50 rail. You didn't say it. Say it. Thank you. Dude, just let me squeeze in a little grab there, please. No context quote. Oh. SSX 2012, is that a thing? We have SSX like this, three, and tricky. I didn't know there may be more. I'm down like, add to the list. Yeah, join the Discord if you uh, want to vote on what game to play next. Today we didn't really run a poll. I just sort of picked this out of a hat. But there is a list I posted today of what's left. Oh my god, dude. I remember this. Is the sound bugged or this is the song? What up, CJB? Good to see you, man. I appreciate that. Welcome. Happy uh happy Sunday. Hey, I oh he's got one of them. He got one of them Alpine high speed boards. They call them Alpines in this, right? Look at him. Look at the way he's crouched. Oh, you think you're better than us? Okay, you're probably better. Dude, I, I was trying to get close enough to hit him. And it seems like once I'm in an appropriate range, before I even get a chance to press the button, I just get knocked over. What? Dude. There we go. <laughs> Where's my boost? Where's my boost reward for knocking over the enemies? Okay, we're doing that. Okay. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. We're getting close to the end. What's up, Tom? Dude, this is... Uh, Okay, come on, let's go. Speed. We are speed. This is what. Come on, dude. You can't even just do an indie flat ground? How am I supposed to get boost now? Oh, man. I'm getting tilted. I'm definitely going to hit this rock wall here. Oh, Backward flip. This is a circus fire right now. Oh, come on. Uh-uh. Not up in here. Woo brother. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, don't mind if I do. Thanks, guys. Coming right through. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, you'll say it again. All right, we're coming up on the end. I have no boost. Oh, that's not good. That's not what we need. So if I go, if I avoid the loop, do we go? Oh my, left or right, straight, got it. Good plan. No 
Is this how you do the loop for real? That's the real way to do it? Okay, we did it. Dude, this is not good. We are in sixth place and this is the last turn. Oh my God, I hate it so much. And I have no boost. I got to pass this guy in the pink. I can't. We lost the... You know what I would like to do? Just completely erase all the pro the progress that we made over the past 10 minutes and then start over. Dude, we got to do 18 more minutes of racing this this map in order to get to the next one. Just do the tricks. Yeah. Like the show off mode, maybe maybe that's a more fun thing. It's more dependent on like what you're doing instead of what AI random dice rolls are doing. Oh, okay, all right. Everyone else is much more strong than me, by the way. Okay. I remember beating this whole wait I remember um I don't know if I 100% of this game but I definitely remember like completing everything and like going through the whole like you know rage worthy sessions Mac is 15 hey doesn't he look like he's like 40 something or like mid 30s not that that's a problem I'm just saying world circuit Mac okay you must have heard me. Continue. Show off. Easy. Snow dream. The 100% requirements are, I don't know, beat all the levels, unlock all the boards with everyone, probably. Me and Mac are the same age. Yeah, totally. Totally. I am, I am 15. I just picked... I pick Matt Mac because he looks just like the coolest, like the most relatable. I don't know what his stats are. I don't know what he's like favored in, but he just seems like the most relatable. Like everyone else is like a chick or French or like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's a secret level. Edging is a stat <laughs> question mark. Mac's got the stubby legs. Oh, what are the snowflakes? Oh, whoops. Those must, those must be like bonus point nuggets. Nice. 10 grand for bronze. Got it. Can do. Oh, 50k for silver. Okay. Combo. Oh my God. Those little bitty rubber nuggets just hose us when we tap them. Dude, let's go. Can we grind the freaking audience? Sir, please do not grind the audience. Are we winning? 
Okay. Oh. I should not have gone off course because all the jumps are in the course. Let's let's do this. Oh, it takes away some of your boost when you do that. Oh, can we grind those those uh outer bits? The barriers? Hey, it sort of looks like it. Oh, the uh snowflakes are multiplier. Yeah. With the new ND. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, yeah. I deserve that. Oh, come on, dude. Dang it. Seventy two K, dang. I wonder how much we have to get in order to like like win win. Do we need the, do we just need a bronze? What's up, Kramer? Yo, fan shoes, what's up, man? Congratulations. They've been enjoying all the Clint Stevens streams that have been happening lately. I noticed that he was like, I, I came in right at the time where I was like, wait, what's happening? Oh, where it was seemingly like, oh, if you want to get bullied for having a check mark on Twitch, here's the place to be <laughs> the Clint Stevens streams. That's quality. Anyway. Uh, do I have a video of how I got to work with Neversoft? I know you worked with them and to get discovered before YouTube social media must have been insane. Uh, I don't really have a video of explaining that, but I've talked about it a lot on stream and probably in videos that are on YouTube, but not like specifically for that. No. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I love watching Clint. It's funny though. There's a lot of times where I want to speak up and like, I just don't want to divert the conversation, but I like, I almost want to be another like anonymous, like frog in the chat. Yeah. I've been subbed to him for a year. It's been a year since, uh, that whole, like, you know, Clint versus moon moon thip situation went down and I just completely clowned him. <laughs> anyway, that, that's not, that part's not important. But it did happen. I mean, to be fair, it was just a this is a match between Moon and Clint, not me. It don't matter. But that was a very fun time. That was probably the most um popular Tony Hawk's Pro Skater has ever been was when Clint and Moonman were battling and the game was just coming out and it was like that was like the heyday which is funny to say because it's 2021 the game was way more popular in 2002 and whatnot okay we need 50 grand I think this level is super long so I feel like we should be okay getting these scores but there aren't that many ramps I guess oh here we go oh <laughs> angle approach oh what dude what it's doing that on, i didn't hit the button it's doing that for me yeah the game sold pretty well as far as i know i don't know if it necessarily sold as well as like you know the games did back in the day there was a time there was a time um aerosmith anyone where you would look at the the PS2 best-selling game charts back in the day and Tony Hawk 3 and 4 were both in the top 10 for like a year which is crazy to think about 
and then tony hawk 2 is like one of the top five games on game rankings.com or something like that like, i would say the heyday is between you know tony one through four but it's funny because at the time whoa um there was a whole divide in the community you were either a tony one and two player or a tony three and four player you couldn't just be both or enjoy both it was like you had to pick a side it was stupid when you go back and look i think people enjoy the three and four the most We are not getting these tricks off. Oh my God, dude. I hate that has to be the most frustrating bit in this game is like, I don't know how, but it keeps thinking I'm trying to do a Misty or a, a spinning flip when I just want to spin. So I want to play it safe and stay right side up. Oh, we have time. We're being timed okay now i know yeah and then i'll see i'll just barely flip because i was holding right oh my god we landed it and then we'll just get hosed actually gonna get a new suit blah, blah blah yeah um check the vicarious visions twitter for updates on the latest vicarious vision studios news forehead I don't know. I'm glad that um, one and two came out and was well received because when I was working on it, like it needed a lot of work and I was, I was really busy getting it to, you know, what I thought would be good. And I got to it like, you know, a couple weeks before it hit the shelves. It was like, man, I hope everyone likes this because I think it's really good. And if no one likes it and I think it's really good, then this, I'm going to have to do like a, like do some soul searching and like, I don't know get off the internet for like three months and like go to you know somewhere to like find myself or something i don't know <laughs> so i'm glad that people liked it because i thought it was great too and still do i used to like tony hawk i still do but i used to too Come on. Dude, I don't know if we're gonna get this. I thought that we would have plenty of time considering how long the course is, but there's like barely any jumps. I mean, there's jumps, but I'm bad and they are seemingly like, look at this. There's like nothing to jump off of here. Oh, here's something. Hey, we got a snowflake. Our first one. Nice, dude, those really help. <laughs> We're holding on to this one until the time is right. Oh, there it is. Worth it. All the Neversoft games have a special place in my heart as well. Oh, we need to get through this quickly. We're not going to make it to the checkpoint, it looks like. Oh, no. No. Even if we didn't fall there, I don't think we would have made it. The checkpoint's way after this. At least we got bronze. I didn't win. That's all it said. It didn't even, it wasn't even like. Did we disqualify because we didn't make it to the bottom? Is that what just happened? Like, why are we being kicked out to the main menu? I guess we have to make it to the end. Dang, man. This game is ruthless. Dude, games were hard back in the day. And no one seemed to have a problem with this. You know what I mean? There, there seems to be a whole, like, um, making things much more accessible and easy. And then hard if you want it to. Instead of, like, just hard all the time. And like, this is kind of like a stone wall right here. Like, I don't think I'm like an amazing player, but 
I've played before. I feel like I should have a decent grasp on what's going on, but man, I'm getting rocked right now. Yeah, I never saw Spider-Man games were great. Um, I got involved my first time visiting Neversoft. I had just turned 16. That answers your question. Is it better to just hold one grab or to just spam other grabs? Oh no. Sick. Uh oh. <laughs> Crushed it. All right. Yeah, I remember I signed an agreement when I was 15. It was my birthday and I was taking a nap. I remember I never take naps and I just remember feeling super sick. I can't remember. Maybe I was hungover or something, but like, um, I remember getting a contract in my email. Cool. Um, I woke up and there was a contract that was like, oh, it's actually happening. There's this a thing where I signed. I'm going to go and do this thing. It was like, that was like the coolest thing ever. What the frick? Because up until that point, I was just like talking on, you know, email and instant messenger. And there's a lot of times where I was like, do these guys even work for Neversoft? Am I just getting trolled hard? Like, do they even care what I have to say? Am I just, are they trying to like squeeze out some like money out of me or something at some point? Hungover, like, um, you know, when you like just don't get enough sleep and you feel really tired. Yeah, that, that kind of hungover. What happened to our volume? Why did that go all the way back up again? No wonder I've been like shouting. Sheesh. Isn't it still super loud? I mean, whatever. This is kind of like I feel I feel like so so invasive. How awkward was my first day? Um not really awkward at all. Um it was funny because I didn't, I realized I didn't know until the morning of or the night before when I was setting my alarm, I had like just gotten to, I got a hotel room in LA. It was like a comfort inn, So don't go off thinking it was like a posh. It was garbage, you know, like 40 bucks a night place. Um, and I, I didn't realize that I didn't know what time I was supposed to show up. And I just showed up um, at 8 a.m. And everyone else get, got there at 9. So I like, I went into what I thought was the right building by following someone else in because you needed a key card. Um, and yeah, I just like walked around like, I, I like recognized the place. I was in the right place because I recognized the carpet and the decks on the walls and the conference room tables and stuff like that. Um, so I knew I was in the right place and eventually I found somebody that was like there and this guy rock. He was the IT guy and he's the coolest dude ever. And like, he's like, oh, he knew exactly who I was. And he was like, oh, what's up, man? Yeah. Let me show you to your desk and blah. I got you all set up here, blah, blah, blah. And, um, and it was cool. And then like, you know, people started showing up. I started shaking hands with people I had met through the forums and stuff. And I was like, oh, you're that guy. I know you, but not your face until now. And then Rock gave me the um, the tour of the office. It, it was just like a whole third floor of this office building. And I remember he would take me from room to room. And... Uh, he'd be like this is where we make the levels these are the level designers and i would always be like hey and like wouldn't really know what else to say be like so this is where the magic happens like literally it became a joke with me and rock like you would put here are the character modelers be like oh so this is where the magic happens it's like watching mtv cribs on repeat 
Um, anyway, I'll never forget that like the level designers, this guy, Jason, who designed, um, he's done a lot. He designed the warehouse, um, and a bunch of other levels. He's like, rock is like, so these are the level designers we make all the levels in here. And Jason goes, yeah, we are the, uh, we're responsible for making all those robot lines you guys love. <laughs> it's like, okay. Hi. <laughs> I don't know what else I could, I could say. And then I, they showed me to my desk. They were just ramping up on like gun and it was still not announced to the public. And uh, they were working on thug at the same time. And so, you know, they ramped up from like having, you know, 17 people to 140 very quickly. And I was, I remember my, my number was 42. I was the 42. 42th 42nd employee of the company and I need to concentrate on this game more because I'm not beating this this game is still too loud did I just turn it down I should just hit retry anyway my desk was out in the lobby or not in the lobby but in like the hallway because like there was not enough room for my desk in like any of the rooms. See with this game, the audio levels are all off. Which one of you guys did audio on SSX? We need to have a word. I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish this game because it's man, the, the bar is too high. It was you. Yo, what up, bronze? Young HDMI cable, what's up? Why is everything so out of whack? Dude, this is so loud. This is... I mean, I like to... Wait, dude. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's just a bug. They just don't... They don't uh, save your volume, your audio preferences. Here, let's just do this. There we go. Much better. Can I get a number one in the chat room? If you can hear me ask you to put a number one in the chat room and see how long the stream is behind. Oh, it's not that bad. It's like three seconds. That's actually really good. Or like four seconds or something. What's up, dumb idiot? Hey, Fluky. It's nice when I get to see people who are lurking and don't say anything, but then I say do one in the chat, and there's like all these people here that I'm like, oh, hey, how's it going? I know you're here. I, I remember you. It feels good, man. Yo, Ramrod. Yo, Dave. Oh my God, dude. Which port did I play Thips one on? Which port? I plugged my controller into the first player port. Does that help? Oh, I played on PlayStation. I guess that's what you mean. But that's like, that was the only version. Like they came out on N64, I think later, but. Yeah, oh yeah, Dreamcast is 20 like 2 later on. Yeah, PlayStation 1. Tony 1 was on Dreamcast 2? Hmm. I did not know that. Okay, maybe I should just concentrate on just like finishing and if the tricks come they come as long as I get 50 grand I think we're good, right? We don't need to get gold or whatever Dude, oh pain 
station of playing too dude ps2 is so great oh my god it's pointing me somewhere really random okay there must be just a spline that goes through the yeah okay we got two minutes we have so much time what up licorice with an indie 50 50 rail i love it it's like it's like a text-to-speech sort of thing where there's like a bank of words and they just pull them when they need oh my god this whole bit love this part minute 27 i feel like the next checkpoint is after those glass walls This is more try. Okay. True. Come on, dude. Speed first, trick second. Word. God, stop making me flip halfway. Oh, whoa. I hit a button. Oh, no. How did I do that? I hit select to try and... I don't know how to <laughs> I don't know how to get on this I was just mashing buttons to get up quicker triangle okay oh great oh that's pretty fresh oh why did it oh because I hit l3 I was charging and then it was like nah you're not charging anymore because I hit l3 I remember that to cancel your prewind All right, minute 10. With a stiffy. With a stiffy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do we get time taken away when we abort? That'd be a pain. Okay, we got 39 seconds. I think this is sort of the best we've done here, but I think it'll still get, it's still gonna be a close shot. Like I don't have time to jump these. I need to just take the curves, which is a drag because all these multipliers I'm missing. Oh, you could just, oh, what? Oh, come on, dude. I did not hit that. I'm scared. I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't want to have to do this all over again. I mean, it's fun, but you know, I feel bad for you guys are like, <laughs> oh God, Elysium, Elysium Alps again. Pepe W. We go again. Okay, so did we qualify? I think above, I think third or better is bet is like what we need. New board, let's go. I need to pull this over so we can, we can see all of the chat. What's up, vagrants? Alan, I, how's it going? Yeah, this is the first SSX. All right, we got to so what do we need? Speed. I don't know. I feel like I'm just going to even it all out until we get to tricks and then just divide it equally equally. Eagerly. What kind of kicks do I rock? Um, 
I have a lot of shoes, but I mainly um I have Adidas Sambas as like my mains. And then I have some Etni Scouts. I think that's what they're called. We were talking about them on the a couple streams ago. And then I have some snowshoes and I have rainbow flip flops to get a lot of action. Yo, Greased. <laughs> nice name. All right, here we go. New map. Pause, champ. Yeah, I'm on my second pair of Samas. My other pair lasted me seven years, and so I finally bought another pair. <laughs> I'm looking for some new running shoes. I actually... I was going to talk to you guys about this because remember how I was talking about how um, like going to like department stores or retail stores is like kind of outdated. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I went into a big five sporting goods today to look at some shoes because like, you know, the last of brick and mortar surviving or surviving is a uh, surviving is, uh, you know, shopping for clothes, right? Because you need to go somewhere and tr like uh, try them on, see if you like them and then buy them. That's like the last remaining other than like service like restaurants anyway they had like no shoes to pick from they had like four pairs of running shoes to look at and it was just like what am what is this place even doing here if you can't like i don't know of course they had other stuff but it was just like i feel like if you're gonna go get running shoes you go to a sporting goods store we don't have foot lockers so like you know like Anyway, so I need running shoes recommendations. I think I'm just gonna have to order them and then try them on and send them back if I don't like them. I know I'm 11 and a half in Adidas and like, I always vary between like 10 and 12 um, with other brands. It's kind of annoying how inconsistent the sizing is. Anyway, that was my story from today. Speaking of kicks, I need new running kicks. Not just like, um, whoa, okay. Okay. This is pretty cool. I mean, it's letting me, the fact that it's not like aborting me and just like, do my thing is great yeah i need running shoes for road i don't need hiking baloney i don't need i just want running shoes that don't look like i'm a, trying to be a spaceman you know what i mean there's some running shoes out there that are a little too weird like the, you have a white banana on the bottom of your shoes you guys know what i'm talking about it's too much i don't need that i just need shoes for running I, I would run in my scouts, but they're they're just not like they're clearly uncomfortable and not made for running. They're for skating. They're basically slip-ons. I could run in my sambas, but I'd rather not. Those are like my casual like everyday shoes. And I don't want to like wear them into the ground. A6. There's like a, a running subreddit, and everyone's like, you know, basically these top three shoe selections are kind of like what people pick but it doesn't matter what matters is like what you try on and what feels good is what you should get and it's like just unfortunately i can't try anything on so unless i just order it and try it at home Ooh, that was a thick one uh oh oh thank you forgiveness oh and i blew it Nice new balances. Um, okay. That was rad. All the cars came to a stop. Caused the traffic jam. Big old pile up. That was rad. That was rather next generation of them. Oh, what? Dang, they just like penalize me for getting big air. Imagine. Yeah. 
forgiveness is more than saying sorry. True. Oh, we're only four grand away from silver. Huh. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, it said I landed it. I'll take it. Oh, 90 for gold. <laughs> Whoops. Dang, we had so much more time in this one. Dude, that second map is OP. That should have been the last one. Or at least come after this one. Under Armour makes shoes, really? Oh, look at all these follows. Bronco, Frozen, Tim, pay-per-view. What's up? Thanks for the follows. Stability. Edging means affects how well you turn. Okay, that's what I thought. You must distribute all your available experience points before continuing. Got it. In a world, world where measurement make, is vital, it doesn't make sense. Seen a video of people measuring with different brand name tapes and they weren't matching up. Dude, seriously, like I can, it feels like we shouldn't have to even talk about this, but like if I wear a size 11 and a half in Adidas, it shouldn't, I shouldn't even have to say in Adidas. I should just say I wear a size 11 and a half and then like any shoe brand that's 11 and a half is the same size for 11 and a half people. Come on. Shoes are like women clothing. Sometimes I have trouble finding shirts that fit me because I'm a tall, skinny boy. So medium is too small, large is too big. And that can vary wildly from brand to brand. Like mediums can be like where I'm wearing a children's shirt to being like just right. And then large can be like for a very large man or woman. And then it's like a little bit bigger than what I want. And then like, if you wash it and dry it and it shrinks, then like, that's a whole other thing. And yeah. Clothing tips with Andy Thips. Yeah, we need some, we need someone to just drop the hammer and be like, yo, this is how it be. I wonder if there's a master list somewhere. So if I like, there's like, a, like if there's a comparison chart. So if I put like, I'm 11 and a half in Adidas, like what am I and everything? God, that would make everything so much easier. They're like on Zappos and like Amazon and whatever. They have like the sizing chart. Oh my God. <laughs> it's going well so far. Uh, but yeah, the sizing chart doesn't matter because like no one cares. No one's using it. Oh, whoops. Whoa. Yeah, exactly, Lucas. Most of my clothes shopping is just like impulse buying t-shirts and hoodies from like bands or like, oh, I'm at this concert or and I get this thing or someone sends me a shirt or it's uh, a streamer's merch or, you know, just like, I'm never like, let's go clothes shopping today. I'm going to buy clothes online. I will never and have never said those words. Hey, look, five seconds left. Except the other day when I was like, I should buy shoes because I need shoes. <laughs> That's cool. Very cool. Oh, next generation. Oh my God. <clears throat> Dope. Oh man, that's paying off hard. Okay, good. 28 seconds. Let's go. Am I going the right way? Feels like I was going uphill for a second. <laughs> yep. 
yeah dreamcast was good it was so much more powerful and had a good controller well you know decent relatively but i was surprised at its uh lifespan same with sega saturn i had a friend who had one and i love playing virtua fighter on it i was like so jealous he had that i don't know if that was considered a success or not but it feels like it probably wasn't Oh, okay. PS2 just ate its lunch. Weird. Dude, PS2 just ate, ate everyone's lunch. Was it the best selling console of all, time, of all time still? Or is like, did the DS take it over? Or the. I can't remember. It's like when Guitar Hero 3 came out on PS2, it was like, oh. All snap sickles, it's happening. best-selling game best-selling console oh my god i know i know can we grind this rail <laughs> oh that sums up this experience oh i was trying to lean back so i could okay a little too much a little too much ds is right behind it dude i keep getting psyched out you gotta let go so much sooner than any of the hot games for grabs i keep thinking about like uploading this video to youtube later and like i'm trying to start editing down my streams like this into like 10 to 20 minute chunks so you don't have to wake watch a two-hour vod to see what playing SSX is like, for example, but I feel like in a stream like this, where I'm just talking about shoes and stuff, where it's like completely irrelevant, like how am I supposed to, anyway, we're just going to upload the VOD. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Does Activision have a blood feud with EA? <laughs> I can't answer for Activision or EA, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. Because that seems kind of ridiculous. Oh, the trick stat. You're right. That makes sense. Tokyo Megaplex, Plex, Plex, Plex. Talking about shoes, may just go viral and get your shoes, your shoe size down to the game. I don't know what that means, but I did a shoe size reveal on stream earlier and I didn't even, wasn't even planning on it. You guys win this time. There he is. Give it up for me. Shoe size reveal. A little bit of Monica in my life. All right, this whole bit. I forgot about this. Man, I should have charged up a thick boy for that yeah dude combo level design let's go oh by the way so if you guys are in here and you're new maybe check out the discord we're gonna do a fundraising stream for my air conditioner <laughs> next month which sounds both exciting and just exciting. It just sounds exciting. Um, efficient. 
I don't know what the word is, but we're going to do some Q&A. So if you have questions you want to ask me or if you have ideas of like what kind of things you would like to see on stream, like what game to play, you want to see me eat some hot wings, you want to see me play drums or guitar or sing, try to sing something like, please let me. Oh, my God. Please let me know. We'll talk about in the discord. Um, I think September 12th is going to be the day that we do it. So we're going to have a, a, a skate deck that you guys, if you donate, you'll, you'll get your name on the deck and it'll be up on the wall forever. Well, you know, forever. But uh, that's the plan. We have all sorts of like raffles, merch, giveaway, prizes, all that good stuff. So I am designing a bunch of merch right now. And I'm kind of like, I want to like pay someone to design the merch, but it's almost like the emotes that are just scuffed like like it's almost charge uh, charging it's almost charming in a way um because it's scuffed you know so it's almost better that way i don't know i'm kind of excited about it about it yeah so merch ideas stream ideas game ideas um andy suffering ideas please let me know Oh my god. Please don't. Ooh. Like I was thinking like the ultimate end stretch goal would be to, if you guys have seen hot ones, I don't know who could interview me like, but we could have the fan, like people out there, you guys submit questions and then we can vote on them, you know, whatever vet them. And then we can have someone interview me and do 10 hot wings, you know, and they get hotter and hotter as we go down through all 10 of them just like the hot wings formula and then after we do the last one i could try <laughs> and do a hundred million in the warehouse while severely suffering under the uh you know effects of the last dab chopper drop <laughs> zero stats pass How much to donate to get on the board? I'm not sure yet. I have to, I have yet to work out all the amounts, but I'm designing the board. So it's going to be a, like a special custom order board. And, uh, I'm, I can't, I'm not sure what's I I'm trying to figure out if I want to order the board ahead of time and I'll hand write your names on it. Or if we get if people want to donate to get their name on the board, I can order it with their name, like properly, like designed and like placed and stuff. You know what I mean? So I could like design the board with your name in it instead of writing on it afterwards. So I'm still like deciding between that and just little things like that. Oh, we only need two grand for gold. I just realized that. Joe and Freddie do the interview. Could. Yeah, Laura might she volunteered the interview. I was just like, it might make sense to get another streamer to do it because they're like the problem is so there's a few different things, but getting a streamer to do it would be better, I think, because they're used to being on camera like for thousands of hours and they won't be intimidated by ten or five hundred people or whatever. They'll be able to banter and stuff. Like I think Laura would do a, a fine job. It would just be I feel like it would make more sense for a streamer, someone who's like in front of a microphone much more. But also, I don't hang out with streamers. Like, I don't know. And I only know other music streamers. And I don't I don't know. Maybe like Floop or Wax. I feel like I'm like or Sean, maybe. I don't know. Figured out. But either way, I think it'd be fun. I don't want to. So the bottom line is I've said this a million times, but like, I don't want to show up and just be like normal stream with a bunch of sub and i want it to be like a fun unique day with all sorts of content that you would not get otherwise like kind of thing anyway 
What's up, corn dog? Is this is Pipe Dream the uh, secret level? Because I remember this map. I didn't realize this is a secret map. It would be cooler with the names and the design itself. Oh, I kept repeating tricks. I'm like halfway paying attention to this game. It's almost a good thing because if I'm zoning out while playing this, that means the game is holding up and I'm not just like suffering. Yeah, we got past the Lyceum level uh, in show off mode. So we just like, oh my God, dude, how do I just retry? Like, I'm not good with hot food. I think I'm okay, but I know I would suffer in the hot wings. Like, those later, everything after, god dang it, everything after level five would hose me for sure. Um, and we were talking about it. Oh, whoa. I didn't know you can queue up another trick in the air. Whoa. Um, we already have six of the sauces here, and I haven't tried any of them. And so we only really need to order a few more and then we would be there. The battery acid to bomb sauce. So we have to bomb salsa, which is different from the sauce, but the salsa that is like unforgivably hot and it tastes, it tastes like battery acid. It tastes so gross. It's funny how like, it's not even the hot sauce, but you could still taste how awful it is through the salsa. Come on, dude. This has to be the worst run ever. Look, eight grand. <laughs> We're at the finish line. Okay, we need to hit one of those grinds next time around. <laughs> Hiya! I wish there was a uh, like a start down X. There's no like start over button. My spicy tolerance isn't bad, but it's not good either. Like, I think I can hold my own, but I know for sure I would be hurting after the seventh, eighth, the ninth, and especially tenth hot sauce. Like, I'd be willing to give it a shot, especially if you guys are donating lots of money. Like, I would put myself through that for AC. <laughs> oh my. Nice, we already beat our score. <laughs> um, so yeah, after we do the last dab, and like I, like if I try to do a hundred million on the last dab, that would be great, because I'm I'm sort of anticipating getting to this point where it's just so hot and uncomfortable, but I just have to end the stream. I just like can't even think about playing a game or like entertaining chat or like thinking about who to raid or like literally anything. Oh, you're right, Bronco. I should do that. I've never done that on this emulator, though. I think it's like F3, F6 or something. Oh, no. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, man. Okay, we got to find ourselves a rail here. Okay, here we go. Big rail, big rail. Oh no. Oh, I did not charge that at all. F1, F3. Okay, thank you. That'll be super useful. What up, Van Kirk? Hey, Naker8. Was that trying to get me some say something naughty? Uh, thanks for the follow, man. 
You didn't win. Okay, so. Okay, sick. <clears throat> All right. First try. Here we go. Oh, I should have held it. Yeah, I feel like it might make more sense to get to design the deck with everybody's names on it already. So we could just keep a sheet of paper on hand. And just like write people's names down as they come in. <laughs> okay, we're getting slightly better, I think, at this. Also, you know, it'd be kind of funny to have the deck behind me. And so, like, when you guys don't, I'd be like, oh my god, thank you so much. Let me go write your name on the board. You know what I mean? Or ideas for the big stream we could do like a new um channel actually because the threat we had a thread going but then discord closed it because it was crusty crab inactive for um 24 hours um all um kappa stream ideas keep andy preserved Wait, keep any pretty preserved. All right. That's what Kappa stands for. Okay, we're going to get this. What up, Tyler? Hey, thanks for the 10 months of Prime. Appreciate you, man. What's up, mate? How you doing? What are you doing? Have you speed run, speed ran this with zero stats yet? You know what? Let's uh let's just hold it for the first thingy. A thread for YouTube suggestions. Oh, that's a, that's actually not a bad idea too. I usually just talk about it in general. Look at that, 20 grand right. Well, we had 24 grand right away. Look at that, just skip that whole bit. Oh man, dude, this is tough to get 75 grand for me because I am bad. It's like, should I just, I feel like I should take advantage of these half pipe jumps instead of just like locking all my, ooh. It's like you covered too much ground doing the grinds. Can't really milk the area. A violator, Uncle okay, S. I'm doing the same tricks again. All right, fifteen grand. Oh, right, Rozel. Because it's giving me drive for doing the same trick over and over. I think that's what that was. <sighs> All 
All right, here we go. Oh my God, one more trick. SSX does have races. All right, we got the bronze. Wait, do you think we could? We got a, a minute and 12 or 20 seconds. We could probably. <laughs> We could probably get another 10 grand here. Dude, let's go. Oh, stink. Okay. <laughs> we still haven't got this multiplier up here. I mean, I guess we can't really reach it. Oh, okay. Only 43 more grand in 40 seconds. Shut up. Razel. Pause champ. 29 seconds. No, dang it. I mean, I don't think we're going to get it. <laughs> If your mother only knew. Oh no. <laughs> Whatever. Second place, I'll take it. Congratulations. Sick. Wait, what is that picture of Desa, huh? Are you... Oh, that came out like four days ago. They're going to play a Disney's Extreme Skateboarding Adventure on their new PC. Is that what that is? I don't know. Ramrod. School one. School one or school two, easy. School one, easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's right. What's up, Dan? Since one of the shades, why? Since like last November, I think. <laughs> so I'm down to like, I had hundreds of pairs of my um, red sunglasses, and I'm down to my last working pair. I had a pair that broke um, right before stream. I think. Hold on. So I got, these are the originals. No one's really seen these. I got these at a bachelor party in Wisconsin. It says Scotty on the side. So you can see they're all scuffed up. I kind of like the scuffed look at these though. These are red. I still wear those a lot. Um, these I got from a Yelp tent at some like food truck thing. It says Yelp. So these are also red, but they have the Yelp logo on the thing. And then these are the Andy glasses where it has my last name on the side. It's like my actual signature. Is it going to focus? No. Okay. Whatever. But these are my last functioning pair. The other ones just broke in November, like off stream. And these are the, the last ones. So I never really wear them anymore. You guys can't see it, but I have like a whole selection of name tags and hairnets right here. And by name tags and hairnets, I mean sunglasses and hats. Uh, so show off. So we made it through all the way. Nice. Nice, nice job, everybody.
Uh, sorry, one second. Just checking Discord. A lot of action, a lot of action. You wear the anti shades every day. It's your only pair of sunglasses. Nice. So you got the original, like, we ordered 200 and we just gave them all away, except for like the three that I had. Um, I gave away like a dozen at TwitchCon. I sent Doe a bunch. Or by a bunch. Like, I sent my mods some. Um, could try racing again or we could try doing something else this is actually probably a good time to wrap up for this game so yeah if you're watching this on youtube later on thanks for hanging out playing nintendo with us appreciate you uh make sure you follow me on instagram twitch.tv slash thps and like comment subscribe all that good stuff but now i think we're gonna get down on some pippas if you guys don't mind That was fun. That that held up. That was like way better than that actually held up just as much as I thought it would actually. Although it's weird because after playing these old games and going back to them, sometimes I remember them being much better than they actually are. And I don't know if it has something to do with a little bit of latency on the controls, but I feel like we can get past that most of the time. Like, um, even now, SSX, like, there's some latency with the controls, but, like, it was still fun, felt a little snappy. Same with the old Hawk games. They still hold up real well. Uh, which game? Which tips? I was going to play 1 and 2. Um, you know, we don't have to, but that just seems like the most appropriate. I was playing Downhill Jam last night. I was playing this game not on stream, believe it or not. I was getting together a clip for a community video. And I can show you guys what I did. Spoilers. But I don't think I'll be able to do it as well as I did last night. Um, one second. Uh, no logical one. Let me update the uh, stream. Hey, 169 subscribers. Thanks. What should the name of the stream be? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Okay. Remember to play them slowly? What do you mean? Wait, play what slowly? I have to log in here. Fibs with Danny Fibs, shoe size reveal. <laughs> SSX without snow, nice. That was so loud. <laughs> I caught that like right at the, the start. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? Dude, that was so loud. This is like royalty free, like metal says. Maybe the last thing I've ever heard. What's up, Geo? Okay, so this is what I was doing last night, or trying to. Snowboarding on land with wheel is nice. So I was trying to do this thing. Um, I got weirdly inspired by doing front flips only for my clip. I was like, because the premise is uh, come up with the clip and that's it. No length. Like, it didn't say 10 seconds or less. It didn't say, like, you know. Come on, let me turn this down. Okay. 
uh and so there was no specific level no specific character tricks required so i just was like well let's just pick a random level it felt like downhill like i was sort of thinking we could use a transfer off this fence or something tight and then i started playing around with the idea of doing a front flip in between wallies here and somehow being able to serve, like save it like that and then i was like well why don't we see how many we could do and so i landed on we could do three um you know if you hit it right and then so i finally was starting to get it semi-regularly and i was like okay well what are we going to do after that and it's already hard enough to begin with so i feel like that's kind of like good content that's a good clip but what do we follow it up with and so three front flips off there you come off you do a front flip here another one there and then i would try and do one here and then sometimes i would i kind of have to improvise my way through here but the premise is front flips only lots of wallies and then i would do two in the air coming down from here because when you're coming down there you got a ton of speed you could do one two in the air and then what i would have liked to have done which maybe one of you guys could try this is i was going to try and front flip here level out and manual which is really difficult manual down here and then wally plant off of this man this is really difficult i was i was doing, trying this for like an hour last night and then you oh that's the first time i've made it i think it's because i wasn't in a manual but the idea is to end the line by like manualing down here and using this wally to go up to that that bit up there so just combining that it's like a style line that's like 30 seconds so it's really really difficult this is really hard to land because you got you don't want to land sideways when you're going this way <laughs> but you also got to land going downhill so it's like there's almost no safe angle to land is this making sense tldr front flip wallies and i got a pretty sweet clip but i ended up cutting that last jump out because i just wasn't able to hit it in mid combo Ah. oh thanks tyler sometimes like i was working on this thing in the warehouse i started there and i was like somewhat landing it and i was like i don't even think this is good enough this feels like not good and so i ooh. oh man yeah so what i ended up doing last night I basically, you know, do the two front flips, revert, jump over this, jump over this, and then I would do two off of here. And I managed to do like, I think I did a 360 flip. But um, other than that, just manuals, front flips. That's it. So that was fun. The other thing I was going to try and incorporate was uh, this pillar. You can wall ride it all the way around. And every time I would fall in the water, I was just thinking like I could just like start off the line by um, whoops, by doing wall riding all the way around. But like you like the camera is so like glued to your back. You just like, can't see what's going on. It felt like it doesn't really convey like what's going on. You're just like, whoa, what? So I didn't do it. I wonder if you could do three. Oh no. I love downhill jam. Like, I know it gets a lot of hate. I think um, it's very polarizing. Like, either like it or you don't. It doesn't seem like there's a group of people that are just like, yeah, it's fine. Um, but to me, I think I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Um, anyway, 
when I first was playing Tony Hawk one, this is where I set my highest score. My highest combo was right here. I would do a special trick into this and land in a grind up on that rail up there. <laughs> Yo, Alex. Yeah, they did. And so I really liked it for that reason that I could just like score really big. You do this, do another special trick, land on the grind there, and then you finish. That was like, I remember my highest combo was like 120K or something, or 140K. It was just like around that area for the longest time because of that line right there. So I really like downhill jam for that reason. But other than that, I just like the idea of linear levels. Like I still think they're rad. I mean, I think the best of both worlds is okay. Like have a level that's linear, have levels that aren't. But I do think that the levels that are linear like this, when they're surrounded by water and stuff like that, I'm not a fan, even if they're not linear. Um, I do think that they need more places to like hang out in session. Like the only place to hang out in session here is right here. There's a half pipe where you can go back and forth and it's not downhill, which is okay, but it's not really, it's a missed opportunity. Like if I was designing this level, I would have looked into widening up this whole area and making a park that goes like, like if you're looking at this wall, just like push it 50 meters back or even more like 200 meters and then 200 meters that way. And then that way you have this whole like donut or like a circle at the bottom that you could just hang out in. If that makes sense. Second. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know. I like it. I wish I would have done a lot of things differently with a level like this, but I could totally gather like at Tony Hawk one days, like it's just the infancy people are kind of just like taking stabs in the dark at like what makes a good level because you got like a team of like 17 people and you're just like i think this is fun and like that's kind of all your data and like before internet forums and stuff like that too so i think they did a good job obviously but um it could be way better yeah airport is really good in that way because there's a lot of cool places to set there's a lot there's a lot of flat and places to go back and forth and stuff. Yeah, people crushed it in Warehouse. Like Ellen Deal and Blake, they have some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen in Tony Hawk 1. Like that, that footage still holds up today, in my opinion. Snowy Hawk snowboarder. <laughs> oh, I didn't get the Wally plant. I wonder if you can get three front flips off up here. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, maybe you can. That's close. Berlin's your gut? Oh, interesting. Dude, we have to do a level, a tier list for levels. We have to. It, before we do that, I need to come up with like judging guidelines for level, levels. Like one should be art. One should be flow. Um... Is that it? I feel like there has to be another one that's like charm or your uniqueness. Like, you know what I mean? Something different about it. But to me, when it comes to designing levels, it's like, okay, you're assigned a city. So you need to like make this look like that city. But priority number one is making sure it plays well, which is the, the flow. Oh. A, a category should definitely be um, flags, which is totally intricate and like just way down the list in terms of like, like a Thip's iceberg, like something in this game that got completely right is all the walls are wall rideable, like all of them. And with a lot of past Tony Hawk games, there'd be so many walls that are like perfectly flat and solid, but the designer did not flag them wall rideable. 
so you can't wall ride him and it just like ruins so much potential that could have been there and so like i feel like that has to be a separate category but it has to weigh in to the its overall rating you know what i mean um i'm gonna pull up whoops google drive let's get a spreadsheet going i'm gonna do this right now we need to start. i've been talking about it too much we just need to do it google sheets okay stop it we're not doing this dance okay so what did i say oh my god google's giving me errors okay art oh let me type what did i say art flow um flags um theme i feel like you can't really rate that yeah so basically yeah exactly alex and then like the other thing is like uh, you kind of have to like rate them based on these and then see how they stack up and then you're gonna have to like it's gonna have to be relative right because because i think the <laughs> Some of you guys may not like this, but the bottom of the barrel is going to be Burnside. Burnside in Tony Hawk 1 is the worst level. And so you kind of have to think of it like that. It's like the art in that was fine. It was a one-to-one -one realism like kind of vibe, but it just played like garbage. And so like you can kind of like use that as a, um, a gauge. Like, okay, if this is the worst, then this means that this is a zero. Um, in terms of the gameplay but other levels could you know play way better but look like garbage too and so there's some some balancing yeah burnside and thips one and two plays way better you know why it's because you can wall ride the fences if you can wall ride the fences in that level it would be just as bad as the first one in my opinion Congrats to Chopper Drop for not getting... So Chopper Drop would not be on the list because it's not a real level. <laughs> like, would you put the practice level on that on that list? If you could call it practice level. So the way I'm going to start grading all of them is I'm going to be making Tony Hawk 1 level list in Tony Hawk 1. So not Thug Pro, Tony Hawk 1, not Tony Hawk 3 remade Tony Hawk 1 levels, like just straight up. And then I'll do Tony 2, 3, 4, and then we'll start to like get into the nuance levels and the, um, you know, like the oil rig and, you know, all that stuff. We'll rate them all. We'll, we'll do a giant list at the end that how they all play in Thug Pro, which I think is going to be like the main bread and butter like what's the word the all-inclusive um level tier list didn't you help work on the game could you have asked whoever was charging a walker i wasn't working on tony hawk one two three and four i didn't work on those games directly and so this is a constant battle uh battle is between um, like I've talked about this before a lot is like when I see a wall as a player, I want to wall ride it just like when you see a rail, you want to grind it. But a lot of people didn't see it that way. And they just like, like, look at this, for example, like this is a great, like you shouldn't be able to wall ride that, but there's like, there's no one right decision, right? It's design. It's subjective. But like to me, that should be wall rideable and it is because also in the first game this was just a solid wall but someone on the art team here wanted to make this look extra pretty so but we don't want to lose gameplay out of it so they left a wall rideable like it's these sort of things come up all the time and then there's also times where you're at the towards like the top vantage point of a level and if there's a wall next to you and you wall right up to it then you can see higher than what the intended viewpoints are for the game. So you're seeing out of bounds, you're seeing a bunch of unarted geo and blah, blah, blah. And so like, there's reasons to not making things wall rideable. 
Um, but to me, I'm like, well, if that shouldn't be wall rideable, it should be, it should look like a grid. Like it should look like something that you can't wall ride, you know, like this. You know what I mean? Even though this kind of looks wall rideable, but at least it's very easily, easily distinguishable from the other walls that are wall rideable. You know what I mean? Like can't wall ride this can wall ride this like it's very easy to know like it's very readable like um like i would expect people to grind these rails versus like um you know like the edge of this like this is chamfered over it's all smooth i would not expect to be able to grind that it's like the conveyance is important yo yes you are right also, we've heard the soundtrack a million times, so kind of over it. Um, here's another example. It's like this hump right here, not grindable, but it looks like it's not grindable. So anyway, there's just that whole conveyance. But to me, to make something better, adds more gameplay, make it wall rideable. And if you're worried about them seeing outside of bounds and whatever, you need to plan for that. But sometimes it's not that easy. Like it's already too late in the project. You can't get the bandwidth on art to deal with this sort of stuff. So you have to think about these things ahead of time, but you can't always predict everything that's going to happen. Like things happen and you run out of time. Uh, what are we doing? Let's play skate. Heaven. We haven't got to skate heaven in a while. Where's our tunes at? How do I, uh, man, they need to like, What's up with a curated list or something? Let's try this. Skate on, my son. Vocals, get out of here. Any level is going to be excluded. No, I would, I would include them, but the only level that would be included is, is East LA because the rest are like project eight. All right, later lad. Have a good one, dude. I don't know. I would be fair. I don't think East LA is my favorite level of all time. If anything, I think School 1 might be. Or sorry, LA would be. School 1 is my favorite in this game. LA, airport, college. Um. Yeah, I don't know. slums are the best because he make the guy throw props <laughs> cody skates who gave you this intel what's the easiest way to get to level 100 um you just have to play man it's it's length it's duration of play so i think like you could score i can't remember the formula but the more you play the more points you get challenges will get you there quicker that's really there is to it. Um, a lot of the things that I suggested to VV while I was consulting and working on the great game, like majority of my time was spent, um, bugging stuff for levels. Like you can't grind this rail. You can't wall ride this wall. This should be a teleporter, not a kill. This should be a kill, not a teleporter kind of thing. Um, but one of the, some of the biggest factors, um, were the timing of the special tricks, their durations, um, getting the stances, like there's so many little bugs and nuances. Like if you did a 180, then pivot, things would break. And then like, if you tried to late jump off a of grind, it didn't exist. Um, late jumps didn't always work. Um, if you did a 180 onto a grind, your stance wouldn't update. Just like things like that. Like, it's just like, it feels so inconsequential. Like, well, yeah, they're just going to fix that anyway. But some like with the hectic hecticness of working on a game project, the game is so big that a lot of these things, they may not have gotten picked up. Like it depends, but, and obviously I'm not taking any credit for anything that's good in the game or anything that's bad. Like, cause it's all team effort and, um, you know, whether I was on the project or not. I don't know. All it means when I'm on the project is I'm just going to bug the stuff that I think is highest priority. 
kind of thing. And even if it's low priority, I'm going to bug it, but I'm going to just mark it as lower priority. It's a battle. Two songs I like in this game are Superman and Police Truck. Those are the only two games I've experienced as an adult right now. Word. Yeah, Superman's a good one. I've heard it a few times. How many challenges do you need for 10 special trick slots? Isn't it you just beat the um, Tony Hawk 1 and 2? Um, like challenges, right? Isn't that a thing? I can't remember. Uh, it's been a while. What a weird tune. I just realized my coaster was stuck to the bottom of my cup. Oh, like one thing I remember bugging or writing up because it really annoyed me on um, the older versions of the game was that there was an invisible box around this, so you couldn't get up here. And this is exactly what I was just talking about earlier. It's like, well, if we allow the player to get up here, we have to make sure that you can't just like see outside the world. You know what I mean? Like you can't. So it's just one of those things you have to factor in. And I was like, I mean, if you're if you can't get up there but you could do this and like or like not stand up there but just like get air and look like you could still look out there so why not just let the dude stand and add an extra grind like it just adds more like you're just at that point you're just throwing away gameplay free gameplay you know and so from there the other angle is like you can't grind these for a reason because they would just throw you out of the level you know and you run into that tier step effect where like, okay, the player's here and you have a wall here. So you could have them wall ride this and then grind here. And now they're up here. So where's the boundary there? It's right there. So now you have a wall right there and a grind there and now they're up here and you just keep going. So you have to draw the line at some point, but the best way to draw the lines are um, unique in every situation. It depends on the theme of the level and like, yeah, it's just like the readability. Um, is everything yeah yeah it, i thought it looks good out there too they didn't even um have to change anything or add anything it was it already was uh was up to snuff and same with over here same with right here this is another one i wrote up you used to not be able to get up here in the original games everything looks good to me especially it's like i would bug it if it looked like garbage there's a uh, um, in San Francisco, I wrote this up, but it didn't get fixed. So I'll show you guys the not bug. What's wrong with this picture, class? Nothing, because there are no bugs in this game, right? What the bridge doing?
So I wrote that up, but it was too late in the project. Too many more important things to fix. I think that's um, some Alcatraz right there too. There's a LOD FBX, I think, or OBJ of the old Alcatraz level. What the bridge doing? I yeah, I had a um, side by side at some point, and it didn't look like that. I think the buildings that we're looking at where it says San Francisco on the building right there. I think those went much taller in the original games. I can't remember, but I think it was harder to see over there. It's the fact that San Francisco doesn't look like a dump. True. So that's the kind of thing where it's like that ramp is integral like you to gameplay like uh, you know this isn't the first level in the game or whatever but if you want to get the secret tape that's how you go get it so everyone's gonna go up there that wants to beat the game so that would be a high priority bug normally but no one seemed to write it up in time for anyone to do anything about it although it is such a very small detail that like i wouldn't be mad if no one fixed it it's just it seems fine like it's not that big a deal it's not interfering it's not quite ruining my immersion unless i sit here and point it out to you right <laughs> sorry everybody but that's that's kind of what i'm talking about with like um you know why didn't they make this playable up here or why can't i grind this rail up here it's just because that just means you'll be able to extend the level like there's no end you know to the gameplay <gasps> gasp Skippy, Skippy Duda. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, we were playing SSX. We just stopped. Yeah, I use. I haven't used Plex in a long time. I used to use it all the time. Where are we going next? Skate Street. I love Skate Street. I was gonna try oh for my clip last night i was gonna try and get a um some fancy stuff going at here with this rail but i couldn't quite nail down like what i wanted to do like something like that where i go up and drop down and pull a oh you thought i was gonna do a one of these but i give him one of these instead kind of just give him one of these hey kigo thanks for the follow I've, I never went to the actual skate street. Feels bad. Actually, the guy who, uh, who was, uh, you know, the project manager for installing my air conditioner said that he used to go to skate street all the time because that's where he grew up. And I was like, jealous. 
is one thing about having like the decks on the wall is like anyone that comes over for the first time and they see the office i have to like they're like oh you collect skateboards you skate and there's like this whole conversation i don't want to have that's just like dude just it's like <laughs> can we just talk about the air conditioner i mean it's, i know it's like small talk and they're just being polite and like this and that i'm just like i don't the less we talk about it the better Oh, I love Tony Hawk games. Are they going to make another one? This guy literally asked me for like privileged information on a new Tony Hawk game. And it's just like, you'll have to ask Activision is literally what I told him. Like, it's like, I can't speak for them. Like, do you skate in real life? Dude, actually, actually ask me that. Yeah, Tony Hawk is my dad, dude. Hack it up. Just be cool, all right? He's listening. Word, Elmo. Are you the one editing it? I, viol I violated my NDA to the AC guy exclusively. Yeah, the other thing is like I got to like power down all my gear and everything. It's just like if I'm in the middle of working, I get to lock my everything and just. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that was fun, Elmo. I'm glad I got something in, even though it was like a month late. I don't know if you saw the clip already or not, but I was just showing the stream what it was earlier. I was trying to replicate it. You have Tony Hawk mentioned in your dating app? Really? quality clapping i think andrew reynolds is my dad word oh by the way i added a new alert today um for those of you who are in the discord you already know but i tried to add by request 10 minutes of andrew reynolds clapping but i discovered that Streamlabs doesn't let you upload videos or rather alerts cannot be longer than five minutes so i made a five minutes of andrew reynolds clapping bit alert variation so that is a thing that we can do now yeah it's a, it's a drag but it'd be like that Thanks for the 23 months. Appreciate you. You didn't get a picture. Why didn't you get a picture? We need to just, we need to figure this out. Maybe there's a, um, a resub image for every month except for 23. Subscriptions, alert variations. 2020 oh no it's right here where is it oh it's just not selected Ooh. okay 23 is tony ox pro covert ops so let's hear let's try that again where's my recent events this is important sorry guys all right here we go there it is Laura, wow, thank you for the 23 months of support. I appreciate you. Yeah, only 23 months. I don't know. I feel like um, 
she was around for much longer and then uh, just chose not to sub for those months but that's fine you know i get it i'm not the most entertaining entertaining guy in the world yeah it'd be like that been lurking you you weren't sure if you wanted to commit okay i understand yet you are somehow still a founder i think uh maybe you used a prime earlier on or something which by the way i believe you haven't used your prime in like a year that's just free money you could be giving to someone like tech and jesus you can go to tech and jesus stream and sub to him right now Or fly heck. Or car of ramrod. By the way, if you link your Amazon account to your Twitch account, you could sub to me for free with your Twitch Prime. Whoa, I think Atlanta missed you off that. Whoops. Oh yeah, <laughs> got one. Yeah, hey, let's go. Thanks, Cody Skates. Real person, by the way. Appreciate you. Can I get a number one in the chat room if you think Cody Skates is not a real person? I don't think he is. For the record. I'm on Reddit. That's as real as it gets. Okay. <laughs> Got you. Oh. <laughs> Do I drink alien slime? I would if it existed. Is there, I've always asked this, like, is there a cocktail that's green and sludgy that's like delicious? The closest thing I could think of is like some sort of um, smoothie with food coloring that could like we can mix with Jack Daniels or something, but I guess we don't have to have alcohol in it, but yo, Don. Thanks, Atlas. Appreciate that. I think you're pretty awesome too, Michael Jackson. I think you're awesome too, Cartman. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. I know people are doing some new-ish line here. And I can't... I don't remember what it is, but... Like, they don't leave. They just stay in that corner. But I remember we used to just take off after a bit and just do the whole loop.
I hit the porta potties and it was out of bounds. Uh, yeah, we played through SSX for a couple hours. Yeah, we're just hanging out, talking about boys. Uh, talking about levels mostly, I think. And how you can link your Twitch account to your Amazon Prime account to get a free subscription to your favorite uh, streamer for free every month. And shoes, yeah. We revealed my shoe size on stream unintentionally, but now that's out there, so. Yeah, if I was working on this level, I'm not sure. It's like you almost have to make it surrounded by sand. But it's like the whole boardwalk thing that's over there. You could make that part of the border over here too and somehow finagle it. There's also the Venice skate park, which was not constructed back then, but you could have made something up on your own, I guess. I just, whenever levels are surrounded by like water or sand, I always like, it's like I dock it at least a point straight up because it's like, dude, these could have been walls. There could have been literally anything else but a kill plane here. Like, like look at New York. Like there are out of bounds at areas, but it doesn't fully encapsulate the entire level. Like, you know what I mean? Like the event, there could just be a safety net. Call it a day. So I could just like do that. And then I would just end up landing on the rail no matter what. Yeah, I agree, Alex. I remember on the forums back in the day, there used to be um, so many claims of people. Like, there were all these threads that are like all caps. Like, I skated outside of Burnside today. Like, all you have to do is like go in this corner and jump off this quarter pipe. And if you get the right angle, you'll be able to skate outside. It's so awesome, blah, blah, blah. And like, literally no one had pictures, videos, any proof, nothing. Like, but literally everyone and their mom thought that you could skate outside of burnside because it was such a small level and there's all this stuff going on on the outside it was like this whole thing and uh here we are 20 years later like man it'd be cool if you could skate outside of burnside <laughs> yeah We haven't actually played through, um, which might be a good stream. Uh, Tony Hawk 4 on PS1 and Tony Hawk 3 on PS1. We have not done. And I don't think we did Project 8 on PS2, did we? Yeah, exactly, Condor. Which is the way it should be, in my opinion. I remember when my friend was like, hey, I got Tony Hawk 3. Um, I was like, wow, really? You don't have a PS2? And he's like, yeah, I got it for PS1. And I'll bring it over. And he brought it over like another day. And like, I remember like when I first played it, it was like, oh, it's like the Tony 2 engine, right? Um, which is fine. I just remember thinking like, man, this just sucks compared to the Tony 3 on PS2. Because the Tony 3 on PS2, it's like 60 frames a second, all these extra features and blah, blah, blah this and that. And like, it was literally like the version like of, uh, Hey, can we, can we go play Tony Hawk three on PS2? And then your mom's like, no, we have Tony Hawk three at home. And then Tony Hawk three at home is the PS one version. And I was just like, not interested because I was so spoiled, but now I would be interested in just like revisiting that and see what it's like, try and play through the whole thing. Like, I wonder if there's a, like, my first question is like, where are the, are there level events? Like, is the earthquake in there? Are there pedestrians? Like, uh, in the airport? Does the, uh, what's it called? The baggage claim. Does it like rotate like it does on PS2? Did I do Tony Hawk 2X? No, I didn't actually. You know what? Let's add this to the list. So while I'm getting this list open, 
if you guys just want to shout out a game that I should be playing on stream, now's the time while I have the list open. So, Tony Hawk 3, PS1, Tony Hawk 4, PS1, Tony Hawk Project 8, PS2. What am I forgetting? Proving Ground wasn't on PS2, was it? Oh, yeah. Wait, was it? I feel like I remember working on it. I can't remember. I'm going to put it on here anyway. Superman 64, E.T., get out of here. Oh, yeah. Sean White skateboarding is not on this list. And that's on Wii, right? Or did they have a PS2 version as well? Oh, yeah. Game Boy Advance. Uh, THPS 2 and 3. Proving ground on Wii. Wait, what's on 360? The Sean White skateboarding? Sean. Oh my god, snowboard kids. Dude, I played that game so much. I remember we used to, the theme or the main menu, all the kids at the main menu would go, snowboard kids at the same time. And there's like this really fat dude wearing a thick green like snowsuit. Had this voice that was like snowboard kids and it just made us laugh so much and we would just like go to the main menu over and over again just to hear him say that oh yeah cool borders 2 is not on here wait i feel like we played that did we not i thought we played cool i think we played the original core cool borders that's on ps1 right yeah okay upcoming game skate story yeah, the animator for that game, um, I talked with him on Instagram on and off like over the years. We were trying to get him to uh, work on an epic skater, but um, it didn't line up. Alien slime, drink it all the time. <laughs> Lost man, thank you. What's up, dude? Rocket power is on the list. Oh, uh, what's that game that's coming out next week? Or like, wait, is it like tomorrow? Riders Republic is tomorrow, right? And I just so I got the beta access, but when you're signing up to the beta, when you when you grant an access, it's like you have to sign this NDA that says you can't take pictures or video or stream it. And so I'm like super bumming because I'm literally like I don't think I'm gonna play it. Like I only want to play if I can stream it. Like I could just hang out and play it off stream, but I, I want to go in fresh. Like I think part of the charm of playing games on stream is like playing it when it's brand new and I have no prior experience. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't matter, but I do plan on buying it. I was also shocked at the NDA. I thought that was weird. Yeah, I've never seen that for a beta before. Oh, nice flight. Yeah, I have mine too. I still have my, I have my, my Linksys PS2 ethernet adapter. It was really just a, an ethernet to USB adapter. It was made for PC things and it just worked for, uh, on a uh, PlayStation 2, if you plugged it in. Mine's in a, uh, a storage container in the garage though. Whoops. Yeah, we did an aggressive. I think aggressive inline was like the first non Tony Hawk game that we played on stream. And I was like super nervous about it because it's like, oh God, all these new people are here. They <laughs> they used to seeing skateboarding. But yeah, it was fun. I got tilted at the end of it, aggressive inline. I remember I almost didn't put the VOD up because I was just like so pissed at the goals and the controls not working. <laughs> but I don't know. I think like media these days and streaming is just like the and the content is like broadcasting you so that means you're getting tilted or you're being happy or sad that's like that's it you're trying to like um tailor it to be one or the other then it's like you're almost losing out on like the reality of everything or something okay. 
trials dude the trials games are so good i own trials fusion i don't think we really we've never streamed it but yeah i wouldn't be against that etnies flash games man that sounds so familiar they still around <laughs> lasagna Last point. <laughs> Thanks, Merc. Last point at needs. I don't see it. You'll have to link me. Street Sesh? Is that what it's called? Oh, dude, Castle Crashers. I played that a lot. I played a lot on 360 and I had like hundreds and hundreds of hours and then I bought it on PC and it was it was literally like starting over. So, okay, Street Sesh Flash. I'll mark that down. Man, I was like... Man, we're getting through this games to playlist pretty quickly like we're we're nearing towards like the last dozen or so and now we've just like it's like at two dozen again so <laughs> and the 21 bell noise wow it's always funny i can recognize the boneless or ollie sound anywhere and i see those pop up a lot in like edits like the skate line you know that dude did a skate line the thrasher um youtube channel they use the skate uh or uh Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Ollie sound. Every video. Is Gary, is that his name with the dreads? I love that dude. I haven't watched one in forever. What's up, bud? You want to come say hi? You want to come up? Astro just staring at me in the doorway. Yeah, the caster flip 360 flip is like slightly off center, so it's harder to land. for scores in most of these levels is when we went for a hundred it's been almost a year it's crazy this music she doesn't want to wait okay Tony Hawk on Twitch at some point. Whether he's on my channel or someone else's. Oh yeah, this was the new starting spot. Um, how do we do this? Wasn't it like... Oh, whoops. Wally off that, ass drop down. Get a 1440 right away clean.
Ooh. Nice and valuable. But I don't know how to get out. Oh. So I wonder, I think uh, you might have to do a 180 turn after this to like one of these. Eh, it's all right. I know. Yeah, Steep's on the list. Yeah. Steep is great. I almost 100%ed it before the DLC. There was a, there was one fly uh, like wingsuit race. That was just like, I remember trying it for a few hours. Like I would boot it up, play it for like 20 and then like just rinse, repeat. And I just never beat it. It's like, God, this is way too hard. And for those of you who have played that game, you probably know which one I'm talking about already. tricks in this game I don't know why did I go here why did I brainlessly mindlessly go there that was weird oh, I don't know I'd have to think about it. I'd have to go through it I have to like pull the list up. Oh my god. Dude, yeah, Steep is great. Underrated. I would have bought Steep was like the last time I paid full price for a game. I remember when that came out and it was 60 bucks and I was like, oh God, I'm gonna have to pay 60 bucks for this. Um, the only other game that the last so steep I paid 60 bucks and then something recent oh back for blood I just paid 60 bucks for that it's a rare occurrence but but I'll be playing like I played steep so much so at least 60 hours so I got my money's worth for sure Back for Blood, I'll be playing for hundreds of hours. I already know. Yo, GP. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Hey, thanks for the raid. Would it be? How goes it? How's the stream? Welcome, everybody. Yeah, if you guys are already in here and you don't know who GP is, go follow him right now. He's a really excellent FIPS player and a good dude. So if you're looking for more FIPS streams to follow, you should check him out. Thanks for raiding us, dude. Appreciate it. Let's go the 12 months. Hello, Dad. Hey, D. how's it going? 
appreciate you dude can't believe it's been a year already literally the first time i ever met you was making that stream sniping video where i just like joined random people's servers for the sake of making that video and that's how i met you and i was like oh wow this dude's good all right let's play him i'm not afraid and then like i got whooped and i think i won a couple times and either way it was a fun experience and now we're just best friends forever right yeah yeah congrats on your wall punching uh, uh title for the 12 months 12 months yeah stream sniping video would be good you know what's funny is that i'll join um uh it was fun to make that i would like to make another one i've joined random skater excel um rooms um while they're streaming like people who stream skater excel will put up their room code so you could just join if you're watching and i'll just join without saying anything and sometimes you get like a, a funny reaction that you and um reaction and um it might be fun to do it on there too oh whoops you're showing people that yesterday nice yeah it's been a while am i listening to dawson's creed theme song yes i yes i am yeah the music is i think is it's super la low why not the felicity theme song pass have you guys heard the felicity theme song that's okay laura watches felicity and she's memorized the theme song and she has explained every time how bad it is there's nothing catchy about it you watch when you need to fall asleep okay uh oh oh easy oh. <laughs> Where would Eric Sparrow being be in 2021? The first thing I thought is that he would be a sandwich artist at Subway. I don't know. I feel like he would have blown out his knees somehow trying to like top the Mick twist over the helicopter video and then his, his skating career was done. A clout chasing Instagrammer. Ooh, yeah. He'd be on TikTok. And trying to do those dances that all the young whippersnappers are doing. You ever get on like Instagram or TikTok and it's like a repost of a TikTok or whatever? And it's like that that woman's voice that like reads the text at the very beginning, like he tried to do the thing, but he couldn't. And it's just like super loud and obnoxious. That's what I imagine Eric Costin's content being like. Just that woman all the time. Hey, Snow, thanks for the follow. Oh, we are so stranded. Triple manual, by the way. Ugh. Yo, what up, Velvet Blue? I just saw your message. Get a voice to read the tricks in the game. Dude, in Back for Blood, they have a text-to-speech option. I was like, oh, hell yeah, let's do that. And it's just like a... I thought it would be like kind of funny, like almost like reading the subtitles in a robot voice, but it was not funny at all. It was miserable. If you mouse over anything in the game, it starts to read it and it's like super scuffed text to speech. So I had to turn it off immediately. But yeah, trying to read off just one sequence of like three tricks in this game is like such a mouthful that if you had someone reading every trick. Yeah. Content. Dang it. Mm 
Yo, Saul. What's up, man? And would it be? Thank you for the, uh, what was it 11 months now? 10 months? 11 months. Let's go. Thanks, Saul. Saul's another Thip streamer. If y'all looking for more Thip streamies to watch, he's a good man. I do say so myself. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm trying to 900. I just did not. Oh, I unbound the 900. I forgot. This has happened to us before. <laughs> I unbound the 900 because I was trying to do that line last night and it kept happening on accident. So I just took it off. Forgot to put it back in. when you're doing the tricks true it's a boston i believe it's been 11 months now ah feels old like sands through the hourglass these are the days of our lives 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 one second Excuse me, sir. Wait, who is this? Who is Tim? Oh no, we don't know that. We don't know. Okay, let's. We don't know this person. Oh, my, one second. Okay. Oh, my knee. <laughs> I just like. I was sitting on my leg for like the longest time, and then I unsat on it. And I'm feeling it now. Punk, thanks for the follow. Yeah. You're a bit late. You missed us totally rocking SSX all the way through, zero mistakes. And now we're just hanging out, chilling, talking about Thips levels. And I just started to go for scores in Philly for no reason. I don't even know what my PB here is. What up, Fox Fox? I'm so used to going to the over that side because that's how the speed run was. That's why I went on there on autopilot earlier. Excuse 
Excuse me, sir. Where are you going? I don't even know, man. Oh, no. Okay. Could have been worse. Oh, I should have probably reassigned the 900. I forgot. Whoops. Might be that time, fellers. Fillets. I need to eat. I also need to do stuff that humans do. Ooh, we gonna go raid Birdman? Just hit the notes. Forehead. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, means the world to me. That uh, any one of you chooses to hang out with me and watch me play games and just vibe, chillax, have a good Sunday together. So I appreciate each and every one of you being here and all the subs, bits, the love, everything in between. So thank you guys so much again. Join the Discord. Help me plan because I'm dying uh, for the air conditioning fundraiser stream next month. And uh, so any ideas you have for the stream, feel free to share them in there. Games to play, things to eat, things to drink, whatever. Like things that might be fun and any questions you may have for me it's a q a session um just any questions you might have throw it in the channel uh links are down below follow me on instagram youtube twitter all that good stuff and i'll see you guys on wednesday i think or thursday join the discord to find out when and where we're going online next all right y'all see you later let's go say uh say hi to birdman he's amazing at drums so we're gonna watch him slay okay bye